This is why I don't agree to things when I've been drinking. All right, I guess I should give you guys some context. Uh, so I actually, I partnered up with Half Chrome to do sort of like a news segment in under five minutes. It's gonna be five minutes or less, probably a lot less this first go, but it's all about drone news. And uh, there's nothing more important to us than time. So here's everything you need to know that's happened in the past week around drones. Welcome to Drone Buzz. What's going on everybody? Ken here and you are watching Drone Buzz presented by Half Chrome. I know it's sort of weird to see me here on somebody else's channel, but uh, get used to it. I'm gonna be back here at least once a week bringing you the news surrounding drones incredibly fast. So here's the rundown of what's happened so far this week. DJI issued a video earlier this week talking about Drone the Phone. Drone the Phone was their response to the FAA's NPRM of remote ID. DJI touted how they had this brand new technology that could be free for users and is available on any drone and it basically uses Wi-Fi. DJ also made a bit of an oopsie when they put out this video because they talked about how the application would allow anyone to know the location of a pilot. Obviously, you can see the problem with this, see where I'm going. Later on in the week, DJI put out a retraction basically saying that no, the application and the software is not finalized, they're still testing it, it was just basically a concept. And they realized the significance of allowing just anybody to understand the location of a pilot. Yeah, as you may realize, that's, that's just a bad idea. What the hell's wrong with you, DJI? So they sort of retracted that and put blame a little bit more on the FAA and that they were just sort of following protocol with the guidelines of the NPRM. Again, if you wanna know more about this, I'll have links in the description below where you can check out the story and read the full article and details surrounding this. I, I highly encourage you to do so. And if you haven't already, the comment window is still open at the FAA in which you can go ahead and voice your concerns surrounding around uh, remote ID. And that will be going on till March 2nd. So there's still a little bit of time to go ahead and voice those concerns. Link will be in the description below. All right, next story. All right, in other news, surfers in Florida are using drones to highlight sharks at the beach. I don't know why this is news, but come on, it's it's Florida and there's 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 going to be sharks. Yeah, so every year, New Smyrna Beach, there are dozens of sharks, thousands of sharks migrating. It's probably one of the busiest times and probably one of the most abundant times where if you want to capture footage of a shark at a beach, Florida is the place to do it. And the east coast of Florida is the place you're going to want to be. Matter of fact, New Smyrna Beach is the shark bite capital of the world, if you didn't already know. Now you do. Now you'll probably think twice about swimming there and surfing. But yeah, it's pretty cool footage. I definitely would love to get a chance to go out there and do some filming now. I know down towards Juno Beach and that area, there's also some heavy traffic around Jupiter Inlet with sharks migrating. So I'm definitely gonna try to capture some footage there. But if you are interested in this article, I'll be sure to link that down below as well. Again, I don't know why it's news, it's, it's Florida. There's, there's gonna be sharks. All right, so idiots in the news around drones. Um, yeah, so a guy was actually fined and jailed Find $5,000 for hitting a train with a Mavic Pro. Stupid, really stupid. And then posting the video on YouTube. Now this wasn't in the United States or Europe, it was overseas in Asia. But yeah, this dude hit a train, posted the video to YouTube and was arrested and fined $5,000. Pretty crazy article, I'll be sure to link that down in the description also as well. But listen, if you're going to do something stupid, don't put it on YouTube. Actually, don't put it out anywhere. Just just keep that stupidity to yourself. So so you don't get arrested and you don't spend have to pay five thousand dollars. What, what an idiot. Alrighty, so that's your drone news this week. Again, this is sort of a test trial run, so you'll have to let us know what you think of this. If you like this format, this really fast and abrupt news. Um, I like it. I think it's it's just much more time conscious. 
I guess, yeah, time conscious. But anyways, be sure if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Half Crone Drones. Uh, we're gonna be doing this at least once a week. If there is a demand and there is news, we will do this more than once a week. But as always, my name is Ken. You can follow me at Original Dobo on Twitter. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time in the drone buzz. I don't know if, did I build an outro for this? Hey Jack, did we build an outro? Shit, I don't know if we built an outro. All right, well, we'll catch you next time.